I'm sad to say this is the last video of the View Remark plugin, unless some other stuff comes out that I feel like I might want to cover. All right, so we're going to be covering routes. One thing that we can do is we can just say, for example, route, and then we can put in our own route here. So maybe rather than having posts as the route, because that's what happens by default, we can set the route to something like blog. And then we can say slash and use anything inside the post's front matter. So for example, the title. And what that will do is that'll go into the blog and get the title and use that in the URL. So let's have a crack at that and see if it works. We'll run gridsome develop, and then we'll refresh the page. And there we go. Now we've got blog in the URL. So that's pretty cool. We could also, for example, just set this to an ID because View Remark is automatically going to set an ID for us. So let's save that. We'll have to restart the server because we're sitting inside the Gridsome config. All right, now let's refresh the page. That's not going to work. <laughs> so we'll have to jump into there. And now we can see that it's actually using the ID instead. But let's bring it back to the title. Now there is one last thing that I want to show you before we finish this series, and that's that we can actually nest stuff in here. So we could have a new folder that's, for example, advanced, and then maybe we've got a folder that's intermediate for like different types of tutorials that we have on our website. And then we could have something in advance that's, for example, uh, Laravel and view because I'm a huge Laravel fan. And so now what we can do is just like grab all of that, jump into here, whack it in there, change the title, Laravel and view. Save that, go back, refresh the page, and there we go. Now we can use this here. Now that post is showing up. Oh, there's a typo. Not that it matters. <laughs> All right, so that's pretty cool. We can start organizing things a little bit more. Now, one thing you might want to consider doing is having your own slugs, just in case for some strange reason you end up with collisions. And for that, you can just put, for example, a slug in every single URL. Just gives you a little bit more control. So maybe that one's Laravel view. And let's set a slug on this one to index. And then maybe a slug on this one called intro. It also means that we can just have prettier URLs and have a little bit more control over what we put in there. Sometimes it looks nicer when you're surfing the web when the URL is a little bit shorter. So that's something that I like to do sometimes. Change this to slug, restart the development environment, open up our browser, and there we go. We can be a lot more specific with our slugs. And that, friends, is my video series on View Remark. And before I go, if you want to check out more of my stuff, then go to beautiful.life. And I highly recommend the series on Vux ORM. Vux ORM was a total game changer for me, which is why I was motivated to do this video series. It basically lets you relate data inside of Vux so that you can do a whole bunch of really cool stuff like fetch related data really, really easily. All right, so check that out if that's your kind of thing. Otherwise, I really hope that you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you, and I'll see you in a future video. Ciao for now.